Following last month's break out of this lower range, we can place a relatively steep Fibonacci fan where the current uptrend begins. Then add a trend-based Fibonacci time zone, which can be complemented with Fibonacci arcs based on the same uptrend line the Fib fan is based on. So even if the uptrend were to continue strongly on this incline, the 333 to 345 range would still remain a significant long-term obstacle, while a further drop for a deeper retracement could experience relatively weak opposition until contact with the 260s. The current uptrend still remains intact as long as the chart remains above 250, heading into July. Next, onto the crude oil chart, where a FIB time zone will be placed on the first downswing of the current downtrend, which can neatly be contained in this FIB channel's 0 to 1 portion. FIB spirals based around the most recent upswing can get coverage into the 1 to 1.618 and 1.618 to 2.618 portions of the FIB channel. This upper half of the channel above the spirals is where price would have to advance back up to, heading into the 8 to 13 FIB time zone interval in order to strongly reverse the established downtrend. Alternatively, if price continues to remain flat into next week, a bearish stance can regain the initiative to follow the arc of the spirals back down towards the low 70 range. Now I kindly ask you subscribe and stay tuned for more. Then while you wait for the next upload coming tomorrow, have a look at the hundreds of technical analysis tutorials already on the channel, including ones on how to use each Fibonacci method shown today.